Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I will be doing an unboxing on the Reven Coldwing 12 Performance 2000 RPM fan. So this is a 12 12, uh, 12 cm fan, which is 120 mm in other words. So this is a case fan by Reven's uh, suggestion. So it's made for high airflow, as you can see from the fan blades, which are kind of spaced far apart, and many blades instead of uh, less but thicker blades that has less space. So anyways, this is Reven's series of uh, fans, and this is basically their most basic fan that they offer, at least as far as I know. And this fan is actually launched pretty, like a long time ago, so it isn't a new, brand new design by any stretch of the imagination, but this isn't just an $8 fan, so I don't know what to expect from this, but if this performs pretty good, I'll be pretty happy, because... It's a cheap fan anyway, so if someone's looking for a good fan for a cheap price, then you might take a look at this. But again, we'll see the performance in my fan review roundup, which I'll be doing pretty soon, which will compare a lot of fans in the same time. So for this fan, let's take a look at the packaging first. Uh, it, overall, I think it's a pretty nice packaging. It's just uh, like gray and yellow, I guess, because, well, Reven is a... Uh, yellow and black and gray kind of logo and that's whole that that's basically their whole theme with their brand and they have this writing <laughs> don't think feel it for sure i'll feel the airflow then instead of thinking about the airflow because i'm curious about how much airflow this fan blows and here's the back side of the box so you can see all the features auto shutdown and restart which means that the fan will basically stop and start if there's something stuck on it like a piece of cable or something so this is quite standard on more high-end fans so it's quite interesting that they have that on this cheap fan this prevents the motor from burning up if it's stuck so and the next one is high airflow increase high CFM I don't know what they're comparing it to but okay sure I guess I'll take it extra 20% low noise compared to air, same airflow CF, CFM fans but again we don't know what fan they're comparing it with so we'll see I guess and Reven also provides a one year warranty which is global so that's really nice although you know I would expect higher warranty because I guess I'm kinda spoiled with Noctua fans with six year warranty but then again those fans cost like a lot more like three to four times more expensive than this this is an eight dollar fan on Newegg if you try to buy it right now so yeah here's the specifications on the bottom it's 2000 RPM 106 CFM, so it's quite fast and quite high airflow according to the specifications. Unfortunately, there's one thing I don't really like, which is that it's a sleeve bearing fan, which means that the bearings are basically just, you know, a piece of metal inside a uh, like a piece of uh, cotton with oil. So the piece of metal shaft is just spinning inside the uh, lubricated uh, piece of uh, cotton or paper oil. So it won't last too long, not as long as ball bearings fans, and also like fluid dynamic bearing fans, obviously. But Reven does have fluid dyna dynamic uh, bearing fans in their lineup. This is just their most basic fan, basically. And their more expensive fans does use better bearings. So yeah, if you want better bearings, like if you're going to run your PC 24-7, for example, it might be a better option to buy a more expensive, better bearing fan than this. But nevertheless, let's just check out this fan and see how it does. So for the accessories, I'm actually quite surprised because they included this Reven sticker, which I think is pretty cool. Because, you know, you never really see any manufacturer throw a sticker in for just a fan. I mean, I've never seen one actually. And here's an adapter for Molex to a 3-pin connector for the fan since it's not PWM. And this is for the motherboard, so you can monitor the RPM, just in case you want like full 12 volt, but you want to see the RPM. So here's the screws, mounting screws, like standard self-tapping screws for the fans. And we'll get to the fan itself. So, as you can see, the design is quite striking. It's a yellow and black design. It has 9 blades, I mean 11 blades actually, so more than 9. And it's definitely way more than most fans in the market which are usually 7-bladed fans like this one 
and this fan is quite interesting too so I'll have a video on this quite soon uh, and yeah let's get back to the Reven fan it has nine, uh, 11 blades and those blades are kind of spaced far apart so you can see a lot of gap between it and the blade angle is quite steep so it shows that this fan is really for high airflow especially being thin blades instead of thick blades but less blades so you can see it's optimized for high airflow and at 2000 rpm i would say that's quite high for a high airflow blade design so we'll see how much it flows when we hook it up to my fan controller and on the back you can see the reven sticker with a sleeve bearing and also the power specifications on the back for the cable it's uh um yeah it's not too great it's just standard affair colored coated cables which are like sleeved but the sleeving job is kind of poor so you can kind of see through the sleeving so i don't really like that even you should fix that but then again i can't really complain since it's a seven dollar fan and you're getting some sleeving so that's already better than most fans anyways uh yeah i'm actually quite impressed because this fan is actually quite rigid if you do this because i think the frame is quite high quality plastic although the unfortunate thing is that since Freeven decided decided to put like a really low blade clearance compared to the frame so you can see right there that the frame to the blade tip is quite close so if you squeeze the frame then it'll hit the fan blades and I know it's not really a big deal since no one's gonna press their fans when it's running inside their PC so this tight blade clearance is actually really good since it seals off the airflow and pre uh, prevents like backflow compared to, uh, to the gaps when you're using it against a radiator so it should improve static pressure and airflow but it kind of feels cheap when you do this and the fan kind of like stops spinning like gets stuck but again it's not a big deal it's just kind of a nitpicky thing anyways I actually really like the look of this fan but unfortunately I think I would just take off the sticker because even <laughs> Come on, you should put it in the middle, you know, this looks really ugly wobbling around like that. So, yeah, anyways, that's for the build quality and the looks of the fans. But let's see how it does in the airflow test. Well, basically just me holding my hand against it, because I don't really have like a proper airflow measurement testing. But I will be like testing it against a radiator on a GPU uh, on my fan review roundup, which I'll be... Uh, getting to do pretty soon I think so yeah let's start with the lowest RPM so you can see it immediately spins up on the lowest voltage so I'm guessing this has a quite a low startup voltage below 7 volt I think so yeah and at this speed it's really quiet I mean you can't hear it obviously and being a sleeve bearing the bearings is the quietest bearing type because sleeve bearings are always the quietest when they're new but when they get old then it might start making some noise but it depends really on how good the sleeve bearing is so if we even made a good sleeve bearing then this would last quite a long time and usually the dead giveaway of a bad sleeve bearing fan is that if you tilt it uh, vertically like this like on the back uh, back panel of your case and you put it on top then you'll see that the rpm drop but with this fan that doesn't seem to be the case so i'm kind of thinking that reven puts a pretty good sleeve bearing inside might be even a rifle bearing but I'm not sure because it doesn't slow down the fan when you put it this way because crappy sleeve bearing fans uh, would like slow down if you put the fan this way instead of this way and it would die quicker but it doesn't seem to be the case with this fan at least uh, in my short testing as you can see like this the rpm seems to say the same and again the airflow is quite good because the fan is a high airflow type blade so even at low rpms you can feel that the airflow is quite good and if you crank it up to like half speed on my fan controller which really I'm not too sure what art, uh, what voltage it is then you can start to hear the fan so this is a, this is at the point where the fan starts becoming audible and the airflow is actually quite good on this setting like it's a it's actually more than most fans and definitely more than any like standard case fan so if you just want like a case fan replacement that performs good I guess you can get this fan it's quite cheap and if you max out the fan well then you get crazy high airflow because this seriously blows a lot of air at 2000 rpm 
and it's mostly because of the high airflow blade design so it I would say almost blows at as much as my 3000 rpm Noctuas although those are static pressure design fans and it also almost well basically blows as hard as the Corsair SP120 2600 rpm fans in the hydro coolers it, all, it feels basically the same around those kinds of airflow at 2000 rpm because this van is high airflow by design although on a radiator then the pressure drop would be bigger than those fans so as you can see that the fan starts to stall but yeah we'll see how it performs in actual uh, real world testing but from now on this free airflow it flows really good like you can hear that the vibration but it's actually quite smooth if you hold it that you don't feel the vibration so I would say their bearing is actually not bad and their blade balancing is quite good so kudos to that and Reven you made up like a good decision and a good quality fan for quite cheap and the airflow is really high so if you want a performance fan that's like quite cheap I would suggest like picking this up I think like according to my first impressions here because it's actually quite good blows a lot of air so you can see it's like moving itself homeward because I guess it blows too much air but yeah anyways uh, here it is for the short unboxing and I guess the review for at least this fan and also yeah uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos and also my future fan review roundup which will compare a lot of fans in one single video so that you can see which fans to pick and basically just an interesting look at which fans per perform better than the others but yeah thanks for watching